In celebration of Black History Month, we're taking a closer look at the importance and impact of African American art on the American economy and culture. Black art covers a range of mediums, including paintings, drawings, sculptures, quilting, weaving, pottery, and photography. The business of collecting and selling African American art has a huge economic and cultural impact. My next guests are prominent members of the local art community. Asia Hamilton is a photographic artist and gallery owner. Desiree Kelly is a muralist and portrait artist. And Michelle Lewis is the owner of three Painting with a Twist, twist franchise locations in the Detroit area. Thanks to all of you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Asia, let's start uh, with you and tell us about your art. Oh, <laughs> my art. Um, well, I am a photographer. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing photography for many years. I recently opened up Norwest Gallery of Art. I'm the founder and director yeah. for that gallery. Uh -huh. It's on the northwest side of Detroit in the Rosedale Park area. Mm -hmm. So, it's just a little bit yeah. about my art. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you're an artist. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm and, an artist And your first. art is really, really compelling, I have to say. <sighs> yeah, I've seen absolutely. some of it this weekend. I love shooting uh, portraits and textures. Yeah. Um, I started, you know, doing photojournalism and uh, taking a lot of pictures around the Detroit area and wanted to do something different, um, you know, kind of merge portraiture and the city. Uh -huh. uh, so I do a series of collages that um, incorporate textures of the city as well as uh, candid portraits of people. Yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and the idea of starting the gallery, mm -hmm. uh, that's taking it to a different kind of space and, and broadening the impact of your work, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wanted to just create a space or a platform for um, artists that are on the rise mm -hmm. um, as well as have a space to exhibit and show my own work. So yeah. um, it was an opportunity to, uh, you know, just encourage African American artists particularly and uh, have a space for them to showcase their work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Desiree, uh, let's talk about your work, uh, the murals and things that you are involved in painting. Right, so um, I'm a portrait artist. Uh -huh. um, I usually use uh, oil paint as well as a uh, collage. Um, my paintings are historically immersive. I like to specialize in painting um, historical figures, public iconic figures. Um, I do have a lot of murals around the city um, that represent those subjects um, as well. Yeah, uh, and, and how did you get interested in, in that particular brand of art? Right. Um, well, I've always painted as a hobby. Um, I studied graphic design at Wayne State University, so that background sort of formulated um, how I compose my artwork today. Mm -hmm. um, I incorporate a lot of typography, uh, text um, throughout my pieces. Um, it's not only focusing on uh, the portraits, but about their uh, their history and their narrative. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michelle, uh, painting with a twist yes. is something that a lot of people probably have seen uh, around town. You have three different locations but a lot of people I think don't understand what that is or how it works tell us about it a lot of people just see other people that have <laughs> you see people in there having seen, a good time right yes yes or they're walking by um, but what painting with a twist is is all about just having a great time coming out being an artist for the afternoon or evening um, let your hair down uh, <laughs> we paint on canvas mm -hmm. our artist takes you step by step through the painting so you leave with your own masterpiece there's no experience required, um, but it's all about having fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, like I said, it, when you walk by, you see people inside, and they really are having a good time. Yes. They're laughing and, and looking at each other's work, and uh, and like you said, they come away with uh, with their own art, which is important, I think, to say that there is an artist in all of us, right? Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, how, how, did you get, uh, how did you get started with that? Gosh, it's a long story. That would be for <laughs> another segment. But yeah. <laughs> um, long story short, uh, I went to a studio similar to ours. Mm -hmm. It was our parent company, and I just fell in love with the concept. And I said, you know, this would be great uh, to bring this back home um, to Detroit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did that, worked on um, work with the franchisor to bring it uh, to Michigan and the Ferndale location was the first location to actually open in Michigan. Okay, yes. wow, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Asia and uh, uh, Desiree, I, I wanna talk to both of you about portraiture, uh, which is something that you both are doing. 
there's a lot of history behind uh, uh, black portraiture, uh, and I feel like that occupies a really special space in in American culture. Uh, this idea of owning uh, the right to to sort of portray ourselves uh, is, is part of that history. Um, the the ways in which we're portrayed by other people uh, in the past and and even in the present. Think of the the controversy we hear about right now with people wearing blackface, uh, I feel like that's yeah. a form of uh, the history of, of portraiture. So I, I'm really curious for both of you to talk a little about um, how you came to the idea of portraiture and what it means to you. Angel, yeah. I'll start with you. Um, uh, you know, one of my favorite artists is Van Der Zee when it comes to portraiture. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the, the work that he displayed was just a royalty of, of black culture. And um, I want to be able to show our people, to show women, to show um, just a, a royalty within, uh, within our culture. So, you know, portraiture is very important. Um, as a photographer, people are constantly taking photos of themselves digitally. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> you know, right? right? Everybody has at the home, selfies, their right? selfies, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, the camera is ready and available at all times now. <laughs> um, but they are, you know, you, there is a, a traditional approach that is a document of our, our history. Mm -hmm. You know, I can look at portraits of my great great grandparents and it's they're so stoic and you know serious and it just it gives you the opportunity to um, kind of imagine what that time was like sure and when you have a uh, you know just a regular candid photograph that you shoot with your with your phone it's almost telling all of all of the all of the truth <laughs> all of the information so um, it's about storytelling portraiture mm, yeah. uh, and, and uh, you know, seeing the real person. Right, mm. yeah. Uh, Desiree? Right, um, so the way I develop my uh, portraits is to um, sort of capture that history uh, visually um, and make it interesting uh, contemporary text. Um, I like to do a lot of research about um, like iconic figures, especially Detroit um, people that um, shouldn't be forgotten, mm -hmm. especially because I'm from Detroit and I like, I like to represent that culture and I, I believe that it's necessary that um, we bring that along every day, um, make it sort of a contemporary uh, sort of story that continues. Um, so um, that's a lot that yeah. um, I try to just make it able to be just visual for everyone to accept. Yeah, yeah. Um, Go ahead. We're actually um, doing for Women's History Month an exhibit called the New Mona Lisa, which mm. is mm. a um, it's just a it's a redefining of you know beauty. Right. And and uh, there'll be different artists around um, that will be doing their rendition of what they think their Mona Lisa is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's all very important. Sort of again, ownership of mm -hmm. the idea of of imagery, self imagery, and 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 things like that. Uh, Michelle and and Asia, I want both of you to talk a little about the business aspect of of this uh, this thing. This this <laughs> idea of uh, the impact that you can have on art and culture through uh, through business. Michelle, uh, the impact is phenomenal. I never thought I would have such impact um, by opening a studio where folks would come and paint, <laughs> but it's it's therapeutic. It for many we've had many that walk through our studios that it's changed their life. Mm. Um, I have so many stories I can tell with a lot of the customers that have walked in and how painting with a twist um, touched their lives. Um, it's not just for fun, but uh, right. I mean, it could be for it fun. fun. <laughs> it's, it's different for every person. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I just, once opening the door and seeing the folks come in and seeing what this meant to so many different people and how it just touched so many people's lives, yeah. it's just, it's phenomenal. It, uh, why do you think that is? What is it about it that, that, that touches people that way? Um, I think, um, it, again, it's different things for different people. Uh, for some, um, it gives them an outlet. Um, maybe something traumatic is going on in their life, mm -hmm. and it gives them an outlet to release. And while they're there, 
they're doing just that, where they don't have to think about the other things that is that's going on in their on. life. Sure. Um, for some, um, they're able to do something they never thought that they'd be able to do in a million years. Right, <laughs> Ain't right. on canvas. That would be me if I was there, right? So that's amazing for yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 a lot of different things. Those are a couple that yeah. come to mind. Yeah, uh, Asia. We're talking about the impact yeah, um, yeah. of owning a business. Of uh, business coming from an artist standpoint, as a, a gallery owner, um, it was an opportunity again to, you know, just to create a platform for people. But my uh, my goal was to put a gallery in the neighborhood. You know, this is the neighborhood that I grew up in. Uh -huh. um, I wanted everyone to experience the art that I've experienced. You know, growing up, my dad, he owned a beauty salon mm. and, uh, you know, he would rave on about it being on 12th Street and it was, <laughs> and, you know, in the David Whitney building. And that was my goal to be a, uh, to own his shop once uh, he, really? once I got older. But, um, you know, it's, art just took me, it's taken me all around the world. It's given me so much uh, information. It's, uh, you know, it's changed my, my point of view. And, you know, uh, so I wanted to have a space in the neighborhood for people to go to and experience that, experience art that. from all around the world, experience uh, new and contemporary ideas, you know. So um, I get a lot of people that come in and they're like, this is here? <laughs> right, like, this is right, right. This is right down the street. The you know, area. someone did a GPS and they uh, like they were like, I can walk here. <laughs> they, they were shocked. Right. You know, um, and we have to have cultural spaces yeah. like that in our neighborhoods. Yeah. And we don't have enough. Mm, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to all three of you and Thank thanks you. for being here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>